All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, this is going to be kind of fast and furious. How do we get a professional looking website going? Well, unless you're a UX designer, you probably need to just go ahead and download a free theme. Uh, so we could say free bootstrap themes. And then inside of here, Star Bootstrap is a good site to go to. Um, we're just going to go with, we'll go with this one. So then we can just sit, simply say uh, download. And this will give you an entire folder here. And now inside this folder, I want to go ahead and uh, take, let's see, we're going to take images, JS, and we're going to take all this stuff here. All right, and then now I'm going to open up a new explorer. And we're going to go to where the Django project is. So Django music static I'm gonna paste this in here all right and I missed the CSS so I need, I need to take, make sure I have the CSS full no I do have it actually it just overwrote what I had right yeah good all right good that's what we wanted all right so now I'm gonna take the index I'm gonna say copy this index and we're going to then put that inside the templates directory and that will override that all right so now if we go back to our project and we refresh, we have a lot more stuff, but you can see the static and all that stuff is not working. Well, that's the reason why is because we need to tell uh, Django to load the static content. So let's do that. So we're gonna say index.html. And once again, just like we did in the previous uh, CSS video, we're gonna say load static. All right, so now by doing that, I need to then go through all these, um, anything where it says like vendor bootstrap, blah, blah, you know what? I guess I need those files too. That's kind of annoying. We'll take the entire vendor for right now. And we'll also put that in our static content. And while we're there, let's make sure there's not a fonts folder. Okay, there's not. All right, that, that should be good. All right, so now I can use the, the shorthand static, single quotes, and then close it off like that. And to make this a little quicker, I'm gonna copy this part of it because we have to do this a bunch of times. So we're gonna do this here. Make sure you close it off. It's kind of annoying how the editor wants to put in uh, the two single quotes all the time. But anyway, you get the point here that we're going through and we are adding these uh, special syntax and everything anywhere that there's static content reference reference which is means anytime javascript uh, images like here you can see it's an image so i'd have to do the same thing for the image to tell django hey use the static folder okay Now I could probably do some sort of quick copy and paste type of thing, but I don't want to mess it up either. You know, and just for craps and gigs, man, I'm not doing this for all these portfolios here. All right, let me, um, just for right now, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna scroll, and I'm gonna make sure that these are updated because these are gonna be important, otherwise the site definitely won't look very well. But anywhere static content is referenced, once again, just do this. Uh, so that way it'll render much better. All right, there we go. All right, so now if I go back to the file, or the location, and we have a working bootstrap theme. Yay, look at that. Pretty nice, right? So just that quickly, Django's running this joint, and it, it took you, what, all of five minutes to get it set up? All right, guys, make sure you check out my other content. Uh, I have a lot of different content here. There's, uh, there's news. I have a writer that writes for me, including a guy who really does not like Elon Musk very much. Um, 
there's uh, there's tutorials over at Hipster Code. There's also um, you know quizzes and things like that. So if you're interested in taking quizzes, trying to not not every series has a quiz, unfortunately, but I am going to try to add to that eventually. And then also follow my my main YouTube channel, where over sixty two thousand people are following me already, uh, and that is at the Chris Hawks YouTube channel. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Hey guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.